If you've been paying attention to launches online recently, you would know there have been a ton of luxury makeup launches that have been sneak peeked. So I wanted to do a dedicated shopper drop on these luxury launches because, huh, they are quite, quite interesting. So I want to start off by talking about the new Chanel tweed eyeshadow palettes. So I believe these are coming out at the end of the month. From what I've seen, there's already a number of people online who are able to get their hands on these, so you can watch those videos if you're interesting. But these look so beautiful. So these are the tweed eyeshadow palettes for fall of 2022. You can see that there are four different shadows. And by the way, I am getting all of my information from three accounts while I'm thinking about it. Trend Mood 1, Angel Naked 1, and Chic Profile. Chic Profile and Angel Naked 1 are both great, great resources for luxury launches. They get the information even before Trend Mood does, and I'm sure you guys already know Trend Mood. So I will have all of them linked down below. And then right here I have a close-up over from Angel Naked. And I mean, this is from all the way back in May that this was photographed right here. And you can see the detail of how it's almost the tweed embossment. And they do come in a tweed slip, which honestly tempts me to want these even more. I love the really cool gray tones. If I'm being honest, these aren't exactly exciting eyeshadow colors. There's a warm shade, a purple shade, a golden shade, and the more cooler tone neutral. And originally, I was gonna buy all of them because I love the tweed slip. I love the embossment. I was really into these. I heard that they were like $85 a pop, which is not what I want to spend on an eyeshadow quad from Chanel. I'm sorry, Chanel to me, they're not known for their eyeshadow palettes. I do have one that I really love, but for the most part, $85 for a quad, you know I'll do it for Tom Ford. I don't know if I can do that for Chanel yet. So I think when these launch in my Chanel boutique, I am going to take a look at these because I am hesitant due to the price. However, I really, really want these. I'm so attracted to them. And Chanel is just known for the tweed, so I love the slip. So I think, honestly, I'm gonna end up with one. I'm really excited about these. If you've tried these or if any of you have watched the reviews, let me know the thoughts on these so far. But looks-wise, I am super attracted, so I do want to buy these. I, I hope they come to my Chanel boutique. Okay, let's take a look. We do have some more new luxury launches that I'm excited about. So this one here has been sneaked on Trend Mood and it is the new Pillow Talk beautifying face palette from Charlotte Tilbury. There's a few launches that I actually want to talk about that are coming. Actually, Charlotte Tilbury has a launch today, so I'm interested to see what that was. But this I love, and this my mom also loves. She asked me to let her know when this launches because she really, really loves the way that this one looks. I definitely am shopping this. I'm so excited about this. This looks right up my alley. If you watch my videos, you know how much I love a pink cheek. So this right here looks amazing, and it looks like it's gonna do well for a multitude of skin tones, a pretty wide variety. Because you have that deeper blush color and the lighter, the deeper highlight and the lighter. And these are variations of colors that you can use beyond the cheeks. And I just feel like you can use the deeper highlight if you're more on the fair side for a blush topper. You can use the darker blush as eyeshadow. You can even use it for a more dramatic blush look or on the eyes and vice versa. Honestly, if you have a deeper skin tone, I think that the blush color might be pretty all over the lid as an eyeshadow palette. You have a nice bright eye color for the lighter highlight. I'm super pumped about this. This is one of the items that I am the most excited about that is being launched. I definitely plan on picking it up. So yeah, this one is definitely a shop. One of the items that I'm looking most forward to launching. So I kind of wanted to do this video solely to talk about this product and how excited I am. I think it looks so versatile, so flattering, and it's right up my alley. Now, Charlotte Tilbury also does have a couple of other launches coming. I don't know if I can scroll back far enough to find it, but here, this is from Trend Mood, you'll see that Charlotte Tilbury is also launching a new airbrush powder. It looks like in a translucent shade. So I believe, this is my guess, it's the same formula as the Airbrush Flawless Finish powder, which I love, but that only comes in different shades. 
this is translucent but i don't know if it's gonna be different because it's different packaging it says airbrush maybe it really is supposed to be truly a finishing powder so it's really going to blur the complexion i don't know much about this but I will also be trying this. I think Charlotte Tilbury just launches such good quality, consistent products. So because of how good her flawless filter, I don't even know the name, but because of how good the airbrush flawless setting powder is, I feel like this is going to be awesome as well, even in a translucent tone. I'm very curious to see if it leaves any kind of cast, especially for those of you with medium to deep complexions, but excited about this as well. More so excited about the Pillow Talk palette, but this also excites me. And I'm looking, I can't see or find the photos, but Charlotte Tilbury is definitely coming out with a concealer at some point, which she really needed to because <laughs> I really did not like her concealer that's in her permanent line right now. It's dry, it ages me, I just, I don't get it. It's one of my all time least favorite concealers. So I did hear and see that she was coming out with a concealer. I can't find it right now on Trend Mood or anywhere really. Update, it actually just launched today. So I will have it linked down below if you want to pick it up. I got the shade 5 medium. I am so stinking excited. But a concealer is coming and I believe some new skincare items as well. That I cannot confirm, but I did hear word of a new concealer. And we're not even done with the luxury talk of launches that are coming. We have a new Tom Ford shade and illumination palette. No idea when it's coming out as well. These luxury brands are much more discreet with launch times and all of that, but they suck at keeping their products under wraps. We always get the <laughs> leaks. But this is the White Suede Collection. Love the name of that. Do I own every single color in this palette? Absolutely. Am I in love with this? Absolutely. I really like my shade and illuminate palettes. The blush looks gorgeous. The highlight looks gorgeous. These are beautiful neutral tones. I'm gonna shop this for sure. It's gonna be over a hundred dollars. I think like a hundred and fifty or something. But I really do like these palettes from Tom Ford. I have my hopes high. I feel like lately Tom Ford has been reformulating the products and they've been getting better and less inconsistent. So I have high hopes for this. I will be shopping it. There also is a white suede shade and illuminate cushion foundation and I'm very curious about that. I've had very good luck with Tom Ford foundations so it sounds interesting to me. I do think I will pick that up. Don't don't hold me to it but I am very interested in this collection. There also is two lip color satin mattes. Probably won't get those. I'm just not generally interested in buying new lip products of late. But the palette is a yes for sure, and the foundation is a pretty tentative, but almost sure I am going to get a yes shop. Now take a look at this. This is another really, really exciting one for me. Another one that kind of inspired this video. Gucci is about to drop blushes. And these blushes look stunning. Now, I don't know why I'm whispering, but I'm just so excited. So, so far, we can only see three photos of three colors, all very, very pinky. But I will say, Gucci comes out with the shade ranges, okay? They have a billion lipsticks, a billion foundations. They come out with so many different shades. So I am pretty confident that they will include more than just the three shades that we're seeing. When these launch, I am running wherever I need to go. To pick this up. It might come out at Selfridges first, that's where a lot of Gucci products launch first, but wherever, whenever I need to be there, I will be there or I will be ordering it online. Absolute shop. Gucci's makeup brand, they are such a guilty pleasure for me, okay? They are so, so pricey, but I love their packaging and most of the time, I really love their products. I feel like they have a really good product line that's not talked about enough. I just feel like these blushes are gonna be great. I already am in love with the packaging. I'm in love with the colors that are being shown. And I feel like these are going to be so good. And unfortunately, I can't give you much information. Nobody knows the information on these. But I am so excited that these are leaked because I am ready to go when these launch. Really excited about Gucci expanding to blushes. I love blushes. I think they complete a look. I just want a Gucci blush. I do. The last luxury item that I have to talk about that's somewhat interesting is this Chanel Eclat Lunaire highlight. Okay, it looks like there's two highlights. I would get the lighter one if I were to get one. And then there also is 
this quad right here as well, the Le Ombre, oh gosh. My pronunciations with Chanel are embarrassing, but the Ombre de Lune palette, which I swear I already have this palette from Chanel. These are very basic colors. <laughs> so I don't think I will be purchasing anything from this launch, though Chanel knows how to get me with their embossments and how cute with their perfume embossment on there. But this is a Chanel launch that I think I can pass on, but not the Tweed eyeshadow palettes. I, I still really, really, I, I need to go see them in person. But yeah, I like them, but these are ones I'm not as excited about. But Chanel's makeup in general, I don't buy their products too often. I have in the past. I like will go through a phase where I really want to get a bunch of Chanel stuff to try and then I like the products, but then I kind of fall off because you know, they're kind of really expensive. I'm liking the stuff that they're launching recently looks wise, but I haven't bit the bullet recently on any Chanel products. So maybe I do need to. And this honestly, I wasn't gonna talk about because it doesn't really fit into the category of luxury but I do just need to talk about how excited I am for these Patrick Ta foundation and powder duos. Patrick Ta when he touches a makeup product it turns to gold I swear so um, this is launching August 30th again I will most definitely be picking this up I mean I mostly picked everything for today's video because I'm super excited about it we're getting a lot of exciting sneak peeks but this is one of the most exciting ones for me as well just because of Patrick Tao's reputation in my head of how amazing his products are. And I mean, I love the concept because it's true to his brand. These are the types of products that he's been launching with bronzers and blushes. So foundation, I was not expecting. It's a major skin cream foundation and translucent finishing powder duo. It's going to be $52. This is the only one that I have any sort of information on. There also is a dual ended complexion brush, which is $45. I don't think I'll pick up the brush. I got so many good brushes. I don't need that. But I'm tempted to get the brush just because it goes perfectly with the duo, but I don't think I need that. But it says perfects the complexion and leaves a weightless everyday finish in one compact. Creamy, blendable, medium coverage cream foundation that moves with the skin, concealing imperfections without dulling the complexion. Natural finish and complementary satin skin, air spun setting powder, blurs the appearance of pores and controls shines. Looks like there are 24 different shades. I'm so pumped for this. I cannot wait to get this in my hands. So not technically a luxury brand, but I just need to talk about it because I am excited for it just as much as I am with those Gucci blushes, the Charlotte Tilbury blush, the Chanel Tweed eyeshadows, hopefully a Charlotte Tilbury concealer. Bravo. I'm so excited. I'm filming this in a separate clip after I'd already finished filming. But Pat McGrath just launched a new collab with Supreme. It's nail polishes. I don't think Pat McGrath has ever come out with nail polishes. I hate painting my nails. I only get gel at the nail salon, which I literally have to drag myself to. But it's a black, white, and red, which are the supreme colors, and they're nail polishes. Okay, so this is a drop for me because I don't care about supreme, nor do I care about nail polishes. But I did need to throw this in because it's a luxury launch and it's Pat McGrath, which is my favorite brand. But anyway, she has a whole video on her Instagram that I just watched. Not my vibe, not my kind of products. I cover Pat McGrath makeup, not this. Not really excited about it, but Supreme launches always sell out super fast. And this is the second Supreme collaboration that Pat McGrath has done. And it did very well the first time it completely sold out. I believe it was like a red lipstick. I'm sure this one will sell out just because of the nature of Supreme. And obviously it did well the first time for them to collab with Pat McGrath again. But honestly, not that excited about this. I won't be covering it, but thought I'd share it because she just revealed it a couple hours ago. So excited. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this mini shopper drop of me picking out all my favorite luxury launches. And let me know what you're the most excited about about or if you disagree with me I'd love to hear it thank you guys so much for liking this video and being subscribed to my channel and I'll catch you guys in the next one bye guys have a good one